So the problem is how many perfect matching are there in a complete graph of six vertices. All right. So we are given a complete graph of six vertices. We and we have to tell that how many perfect matchings are possible in that complete graph of six vertices. So the first question is, what is a matching? Okay. I'll I'll quickly re review this concept of matching and then the concept of perfect matching so matching is a subset of edges from the graph first point is that it has to be a subset of edges from the graph you are given second point is that no two edges in that subset should be adjacent no two edges are adjacent in that subset all right so suppose for example i i draw a graph okay suppose i have some graph like this okay this is some graph uh, these are the vertices of some graph okay so i join these distance suppose this is a graph given to you and then you have to give a matching in this graph so first of all it is a subset of edges and these are the edges so we have to choose a subset of these edges and no two edges are adjacent so suppose i choose this edge okay suppose i choose this edge this is fine all right so this edge is itself a matching because it is a subset of the edges of this graph and it is not adjacent to any other edge that I have chosen in the matching. So this is the only edge I have chosen. So that is it is a matching. Okay. And we can find other matchings too. So can we include this edge? No, we cannot include this edge because if you include this edge in your matching, then these two will become adjacent and that's the condition that no two edges are adjacent so we cannot choose this edge either but we can choose this edge okay so this is also a matching so in in the, in the matching is i can have this edge and this edge this is fine this is a matching because these two edges are the subset of this of the edges of this graph and they are not adjacent all right so that is matching okay and then we talk about what is called perfect matching quickly all right now we talk about perfect matching so what is a uh, perfect matching so we talk about perfect matching all right so it is definitely a matching first of all but it has a certain special property it is a matching with a certain special property and that special property is that the the subset of edges that you take in this matching should include all the vertices in the graph all right so any vertex you will find in the graph should be incident on some edge in the matching okay so what you can write out here is that it is a matching that includes a matching that that includes all the vertices okay it includes all the vertices you cannot leave any vertex and I'll give just an example a quick example of what a perfect matching looks like so suppose this is a graph these are the vertices of some graph like this uh, and suppose you have this all right and I connect the edges that I have to connect so I connect this this and this and then I connect this I connect these this I connect this and I connect this so 
suppose I have to give a perfect matching in this graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this edge. Okay, I'm going to select this edge in my matching. And now I cannot select these. This, I cannot select this. I cannot select this. I cannot select this because these three are adjacent to this edge. But I can select this edge. All right. So I selected this edge also as a part of my matching. Okay. And then I cannot select this also because then this is adjacent to this and then I can select this edge as a part of my matching. So this edge, this edge and this edge. So this is a perfect matching. Why? First of all it is a matching because it is, it is, it is a subset of edges in this graph and no two edges in this matching are adjacent to each other. So it is a matching. And why it is a perfect matching? Because it includes all the vertices. Okay this vertex is included in this edge this vertex is included in this edge this vertex is included in this edge this vertex in this edge and this vertex in this edge and this last vertex is also included in this edge so it is a perfect matching because all the vertices that are present in this graph are included in some of the edge of this matching so that is a perfect matching so now we know the idea of perfect matching we have to answer the question that how many perfect matching are there in a complete graph of six vertices okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a graph of a complete graph of six vertices all right and then we'll see how we can find the we can count the, the number of perfect matchings in such a graph so this is second vertex this is third vertex this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth vertex all right and it's a complete graph so all the uh, every vertex will be connected to every other vertex in this graph that's how complete graphs are defined you connect every vertex with every other vertex so let's start with this this is connected to this this is connected to this this is connected to this and this is also connected to this one okay then we come to this so what we can do is we can connect this sorry this can be can oh sorry now okay just let me undo this undo okay so let, let's let's join this okay so this can be joined here this can be joined here and what I can do is I can also join this up there okay and then this is connected to this this is connected to this this can be connected up there and I can join this also and then I'm left with this and what I can do is I can connect this out here my drawing is horrible something like that okay so now this is our complete graph okay every vertex is connected with every other vertex you can see that every vertex is connected to every other vertex that's fine yeah let's let's give some numbers to these vertices okay let's call this one let's call this two let's call this three this one is four this one is five and this one is six okay so what we know about perfect matching we just saw that it's a matching that includes every vertex in the graph so let's in, in the matching that we will get you know any matching that we will get must have vertex one in it okay so let's start with vertex 1 how many edges are incident on this vertex 1 so this is 1 this edge this edge this edge this edge and this edge so these are five edges incident on vertex 1 so in any matching that you will find whenever you will consider this vertex 1 okay because your perfect matching should have all the vertex included so whenever you will consider this vertex one in a perfect matching it should have 
any one of these five edges adjacent to uh, incident on this okay so what you can do is so we are counting number of perfect matchings okay we are counting number of perfect matchings okay so we'll use the product rule of counting so with vertex 1 you can choose any of these five edges so that is 5 okay so 5 into something after you have chosen the edge adjacent to vertex 1 so suppose I chose this edge okay so suppose I chose this edge to be the part of my perfect matching so what happens when I choose this edge I have also by default included this edge this vertex so now I have vertex 1 and vertex 6 as part of my perfect matching so what happens is that when you do when you do this when you choose this this edge which is from vertex 1 to vertex 6 and to complete your perfect matching you have to choose other edges too because in a perfect matching all the vertices should be included so far we, we haven't included 2 3 4 and 5 in a perfect matching we have to include all the vertices that means we have to have more edges in our perfect matching the first edge that we chose which was incident to 1 could be chosen in 5 ways that's why we wrote 5 and suppose we chose this edge without loss of generality now what we know is that when we choose our next edge what are the edges that we cannot choose can we choose this edge no we cannot choose this edge because this is adjacent to this edge remember the definition of matching that no two edges are adjacent so we cannot choose this edge by the same argument we cannot choose this we cannot choose this we cannot choose this we cannot choose this edge 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 so what you will find is that the only edges that you can choose are from these this sub graph of this bigger graph okay so these all suppose these all edges are gone that I have crossed so the edges you will be left with uh, will be uh, let me choose a proper color okay so the only edges that you can choose from are this 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 and this okay so you you have included this edge and so you have to forget about these edges because they will be adjacent to this so the only edge you can choose from is from this smaller uh, smaller complete graph on these four vertices okay so this is also a complete graph so you have to choose a, one edge from these vertices okay so you do the same thing you can choose any vertex so let's say I choose now vertex 2 okay so I choose vertex 2 and then what I have to do is I have to choose an edge incident to this okay so and these crossed ones are gone so I can choose this one or this one or this one okay you can choose any of these and this can be done in three ways so you have to multiply this by three the product rule of counting so suppose you chose this edge suppose you chose this edge okay suppose you chose this edge okay so what it does for you is that you have chosen this edge all right and now you will have to again forget about some more edges that you cannot include in your graph okay so out of these remaining edges that were in that are in purple can you choose this edge to complete your perfect matching can you no you cannot see you are still not done because you have to include all the vertices in your perfect matching and 3 and 4 are still left so you cannot choose this you cannot choose this you cannot choose this you cannot choose this and the only op option you are left with is this one okay and that is the only choice you can make at this moment okay so 
that is a perfect matching in this red this one two three okay that is just an example but it sort of gave us the idea of how to choose okay and this last one was chosen in one way so this gives us 15 okay so there are 15 perfect matchings possible okay just to quickly revise we we chose vertex 1 and we chose this edge this could have been done in five ways we could have chosen this edge this edge or this edge because there are five edges incident on one so we wrote this this five out here okay and then what we did once we have chosen this edge we cannot choose edges that are incident to this so we, we crossed these edges we forgot about these other edges okay and what we were left from which we can choose was this smaller complete graph k4 which is from these four vertices okay which we drew in purple before and then we chose a vertex we chose vertex 2 and then from vertex 2 we could have chosen three edges okay this one two and three because they are incident to this and we have already forgot about these edges that we have eliminated so this was done in three ways all right and then finally we had to eliminate these edges too because these were adjacent to this edge that we just chose and we were left with only one edge so there was only one way to choose the last edge which gave our answer 15 and that is the correct answer.